Right now, it's been a full week since my vaccination. And by the time you see this video, it'll be about a week and a half. <laughs> the intent of this video was to like document what it was like for me to get vaccinated, whether or not I had any side effects, and how I was feeling. And that's what you'll see if you continue to watch. <laughs> However, I wanted to just insert this little intro because by now news is broken about the CDC and the FDA putting a pause on the administration of the Johnson & Johnson one-shot vaccine, which is what I got. And they're putting a pause on this vaccine because of the fear that it may be linked to blood clotting. Just want to say that I think it's a smart idea. It's, it's frustrating, but I think it's a smart idea because, I mean, they do need to make sure. <laughs> you know, they're doing this out of an abundance of caution. That's the phrase that they like to use. I personally do not regret getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Looking at the numbers, they're looking at six cases out of 6.8 million people who have been given the vaccine. I mean, that's not even a one in a million chance that anyone could be affected by this. And it's an, it's an interesting situation because I feel like, you know, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. A lot of people are upset because they feel like this will give some sort of credence or validation to the anti-vax crowd. And I just feel like, you know what, either way, you know, there was, there was going to be, people were going to talk shit either way. You know, if they hadn't have, you know, paused, then people would have come out saying, hey, you know, you guys aren't being transparent. You aren't being honest about what's happening. So I would rather them do this. I just wish that the messaging was a little better. And as a member of the media, I wish that the media did a better job of reporting this instead of doing things that really just stir up a lot of fear and uncertainty in the public's mind. You know, shout out to everybody, everybody that hit me up, that woke me up <laughs> with text messages, with DMs on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, I mean, I appreciate y'all. Uh, you know, a lot of people are just like, you're the only person that I know that, that took the J&J. &J. You know, you're one of the few people that I know that, that took the J&J. &J. So, so I appreciate y'all reaching out and letting me know. Honestly, by the time, you know, most of y'all reached out or I got to, you know, those messages, I'd already, I'd already seen the news. I'd already read several articles regarding this. In any case, like I said, I do feel like the J&J &J vaccine is still safe. The cost to risk benefit <laughs> is worth it, in my opinion. So there you have it. So now let me take you on, I guess, my journey of getting the COVID-19 vaccine. This morning, I am getting the Fauci ouchie. <laughs> I really wonder who came up with that term because number one it's just funny and brilliant and it spread like wildfire like everyone says it. So I really wonder who came up with Fauci ouchie. Whoever you are, you are a genius and I hope that you are getting fairly compensated for your genius because everybody's using it. I originally, oh, I'd made a reservation to get vaccinated next week, early next week. But then a uh, Twitter friend of mine posted that she'd gotten vaccinated at a site. And they were just like, we just, we have appointments. We have all this shit, just tell people to come. So I decided, okay, let me, let me try. So I went on the site and I made an appointment and I'm going to the appointment now. This is yesterday. Like she posted this yesterday and I made the appointment for early in the morning, early enough so that I could go and come back and start work. We'll see how that goes. If I'm not, you know, feeling too good afterward, like if I start feeling any side effects, then I'll just, you know, I'll just be like, look guys, I can't finish the day. But um, yeah, I didn't know where the vaccination site was. So last night I decided to do a little recon, go and go and scout it out. Okay, I found the site. I know how to get here. I will see these good people in the morning. Now that I know where it is, I'm ready to go get jabbed.
Okay, parking. Let me go in here and do this. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't take any, any kind of footage, like not even a photo of me getting the vaccine because I guess this is government run. Like this is the military. This isn't like going to like, you know, a CVS or going to like, you know, a, another just kind of like, no, this is run by folks in fatigues. <laughs> so they saw me and they were just like, sir, no media, no cameras, no video, no photographs. I was like, not even on my phone. They were like, no. So I couldn't get what I wanted, which was footage of me taking the jab, but I got it. Fauci ouchy baby. <laughs> so I'll talk about, I guess, side effects or whatever. If I feel any, I'll let y'all know what the deal is. On the way home, I stopped at McDonald's for a little celebratory meal. As far as vaccine side effects right now, nothing. Left arm, the volunteer suggested that since my right arm is my dominant arm. So uh, nothing really to report. I mean, it did not hurt, but there was kind of like a dull sensation like right after the injection. But then that pretty much went away during the 15 minute period I was waiting because they still, you know, they have you wait 15 minutes after, um, after you're injected, inoculated, whatever. And that dull sensation pretty much went away while I was sitting there. So far, so good. Who knows? I, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Several hours later, probably like, um, maybe like eight hours later, still okay. Although there's a bit, just a very small, tiny bit of a dull kind of like, I mean, I even hesitate to call this a headache. It's just kind of like a dull, just kind of like whatever, um, in my head certainly tolerable and if this is a side effect i hope that this is <laughs> as bad as it gets <laughs> so it's the day after the vaccine to be honest i feel pretty good i mean i don't have any of the side effects that a lot of people have been complaining about do still have like a slight headache and i'm moving just a little bit slower because i have some slight aches but nothing too terrible last night my arm, I mean, I, I feel it, but it's not, you know, it's not anything too bad. Uh, last night is definitely the side effects, I guess, were a little stronger, you know, slight chills. Uh, it was just uncomfortable, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, you know, slept through the night, still got a little whatever going on, but I guess it could be worse. And I'm thankful it isn't worse, knock on wood. So thankfully, California has... It's like labor law that mandated, you know, certain number of days for COVID, just like COVID time. So like if you get sick, you can use these days without burning through like the sick days you have at your job. And you can also use these days, or at least my job allows us to use these days um, as kind of like recovery, you know, from the vaccine and its side effects as well. So I decided to take the day because, you know, I could start to feel this creep up on me last night while I was still working and that was difficult enough. <laughs> so yeah, right now I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be good to anybody. Mm -mm, at work so so i'm just gonna take the day and try to try to rest up and try to get through this need to drink some water you know it's really funny people's reactions to like the announcement that like you've gotten the virus or whatever you know yesterday i posted a photo of myself with my bandage and i posted the vaccination card uh, i posted on facebook and well i post on just social media and you know I'm, I'm trying not to be narcissistic and be like oh she posted this because of me but i just find the timing funny you know one of my facebook friends posted right away why are people posting their bandages and their vaccination cards like like it's a badge of honor why of course you know most of the people in her comments were you know in agreement with her but the thing is you know uh, well, first, why? I did it for the same reason I'm making this video is because I want to show y'all that, you know, number one, I talked all that shit and yes, I got the vaccine. Two, the vaccine is safe. Like, I'm not turning into a zombie. I'm not, I wasn't microchipped. <laughs> My DNA is not being rewritten. And so I want, you know, folks to, to you know, 
I just want to be transparent and be like, this is this is what I went through. This is what happened. This is how I'm feeling afterward. So it was just really funny. You know, people were in the comments and they were saying like all that dumb shit. You know, oh, you know, they're they're you know they're proud to have the mark of the beast and you know they're they're gonna get microchipped and that blob just all this dumbness. And thankfully, there were a few people that were just like, hey, look, you know, people feel like this is what they need to do in order to protect themselves and their families their loved ones. And I liked how one person put it. He put it as, well, even if you don't agree with it, you're not taking on any risk, right? The person who got the vaccine, they're the one that's taking the risk because of the unknown. And they're doing it because they want to protect themselves and they want to protect their family, their loved ones, their community. So if nothing else, you should be supportive. He didn't use the word supportive, but that's kind of what he was saying, because they're the ones taking the risk and they're doing it from a place of like love and compassion whereas you're just standing on the sidelines yelling and screaming and making fun of people for getting the mark of the beast is what it is i was just like damn y'all mad like that because i posted a photo of my bandage and vaccination card y'all pressed like that so it's now like six in the evening i pretty much slept (laughs) most of the day But I'm feeling fine. Still a little groggy or whatever, but my head feels better. I don't feel achy right now. So I'm really hoping that the worst is over.